All right, I want to walk you through what we call the skills package. Now, this I think is the is the really the in my opinion the best part of the course. And it's a project where you're going to pick an interpersonal skill that you want to work on and then you're going to work on it in eight different ways. Let me show you how it works here. So, inside the modules here, you will notice that as you move along through the first module and you get into chapter one, you will see all of a sudden something comes up here called how to do the skill package. Now, that's the video that you're watching right now. So you obviously got to this point. All right. Now, there are several links here that you're going to need to click on. The first one here is the learning objectives for the skill package. And this shows you the idea of what's really happening with this project. So essentially, you're going to choose out of a list of over 40 possibilities, one skill that you would like to get better at by the end of this course, an interpersonal skill. And most likely when you look through this list, one will kind of sing out to you like, oh yeah, that's I need to get better at that. That sounds like a good one. This is a good excuse for me to work on that particular skill. You'll see though that in some cases you may have trouble deciding which of these 40 skills you want to pick, which one do you want to do. Sometimes people actually will go so far as to consult with a trusted family member and say, hey, what do you think? What do you think? You know me pretty well. Which one of these do you think I need to get better at? Now you have to be careful with that. It's got to be someone you really trust. Um, but we've had good success with that. We had a mother once who was having trouble deciding and she had her kids look at it and they said, yeah, the one you need to work on, mom, is the one about being a better listener. And she, she kind of got a little angry at first. She thought, wait a minute, I'm a good listener. What are you talking about? But then she thought about it some more and she realized, yeah, I do need to get better. And then it ended up being a really good project for her. So um, you're going to pick a skill, then you're going to work through a series of activities, and then you're going to reflect on what you learned from the experience. And then in your final for this course, the final for this course is to present a quick video, about two to three minutes long, on what you learned from the skill package, okay? So let's take a look here. I'm gonna go to the next, click on the next link here. And uh, you'll see that we have the instructions, right? Make sure that each activity is at least 250 words typed up. That's very important to make sure you do that, okay? Now, let's look at the actual list of the skills to choose from. Now, you'll need to spend a few minutes on your own just looking through these and see what sounds good to you, okay? Um, I'll tell you, I know that this doesn't mean you should pick any particular ones, but I know that number two, meet and get to know people, overcome shyness. This is probably the one that's picked more than any other. It's interesting how many people suffer from shyness. This is a very popular skill to pick. Um, other ones that people pick a lot of often is like number 10, learning how to say no. Number 10, say no, refuse a favor or request. That's very, very popular. Um, I've seen all these through the years, right? People pick different ones. Um, keep calm in a crisis situation. Um, learn to admit an error. Give in to another person's point. Um, all of these, uh, being able to express anger, negative feelings clearly without losing your temper, right? Uh, this is a new one that we put in not too long ago. Develop uh, your personal relationships by reducing time on your cell phone or social media, doing what we call a digital detox. Um, this has been very popular. Um, all of these are, there's no one that's better than another one, right? One that's a little different is number 38. Work on a particular relationship and then list two to four of the skills needed for this relationship to improve. So in this case, you might say, well, I don't have one particular skill in mind, but I want to improve, say, the relationship with my sister. And then you could say, okay, I want to work on that. I'm going to look here at these skills and find maybe two, three, or four skills that might fit into this situation with my sister, right? For example, maybe I need to um, learn how to keep calm in a crisis situation with my sister or admit an error, right? Or make, uh, you know, seek out people who are likely to disagree with you. I mean, you, you get the idea, you, you kind of customize the skill package to fit this particular relationship issue that you're having. Another thing people do is they'll sometimes think, well, I really like number 35 and 36, and you, you find a way to maybe 
combine them together to have a composite skill where there's more than one stuck together. But uh, make sure you get the idea that you're really starting with one particular type of skill that you're working on. Uh, don't make the mistake that I've seen some people do where they think that they have to come up with a new skill every week. Um, don't you don't want to do that. Or like one actually I had one student who thought he had to do all 42 skills, which was really, really wild. So you're really just basically picking one or maybe merging a couple together. And then that's your starting point of the skill package. All right. So once you've picked your skill, let's go to the next step here. Once you've picked your skill, you're going to take a look at what we call the learning activities. Okay. Now, there are eight groups here, okay? And the idea is we want to give you a lot of choices here. So you'll see that, for example, the first type of activity is writing about the skill. And you get to pick which one of these five different types of writing activities do you want to do for your skill package. You only have to do one of these, okay? Typically, a lot of people just do this first one. Just sit down and write anything that comes into your head about the skill. It's pretty straightforward. It's like writing a journal. You just sit down and start free writing about that particular skill, okay? And when you're done with that, you've done number one. You're done. You don't have to do the other writing activities. Then you go to the symbolizing about the skill in an art form. Now, again, you get to pick. You have a lot of choices. You could write a poem or a song, do a Photoshop graphics type thing. Um, you could create a collage about the skill, make a cartoon. Keep in mind, it says make a cartoon. This doesn't find a cartoon on the internet. It's to create your own cartoon. Um, it doesn't have to be artistically great. We're not judging you on your art skills here. This is really just symbolizing the skill you're working on in a creative way, right? So you pick one of these. And by the way, if you write a poem, we're not going to count the 250 words for that. Just don't make a short little, you know, tiny haiku or something like that, right? So... That's the idea. Now you've done two activities, okay? And then it goes on to three, which is practicing the skill. Again, you get choices. Four, receiving feedback about the skill from friends or family. And then we have number um, five, observing the skill being practiced by others. Six, teaching the skill to someone else. And then seven, reading about the skill. And then finally, eight, which is where you basically are going to reflect on the skill and write a one-page evaluation. Now, you'll see here that this is a lot of different activities, right? But they're not going to all be done right at once. So what's going to happen is here, I'm going to click on Next. You're going to pick your skill, and then you're just going to, the first assignment for the skill package, you're just going to upload the first two skill package assignments, right? So you might do the writing, of course, is the first one. The second one is the symbolizing. You do those two, and then you're going to turn those in. You're going to upload those, just two at a time. You're going to upload those. Now, let's go back into the modules. Now, the way we've designed this is the skill package is basically chunked out into different chapters throughout the course. So in, in chapter one, you're going to get started on the skill package. You're going to do the first two activities there'll be a discussion question about the skill that you've chosen. And then you won't be working on it right away. You'll just jump into chapter two and do chapter two, which is self-concept and self-esteem. You'll be working in that area. There'll be other things you've done in the course so far, like the stop and thinks, the quiz, and so forth. And then you'll get into three. And then you'll see by towards the end of chapter three, hey, it's time to do skill package three and four, the third and fourth activities, okay? So you're doing those in March, which is uh, in Chapter 3. Okay, so you see that you're doing the third and fourth activities in Chapter 3. And then you're just going to continue along in the course through Chapter 4. You're going to get into Chapter 5. The subject is listening and doing that. And then we have you do the fifth and sixth learning activities here in the middle of Chapter 5. Then you're going to go through chapter six, and then towards the end of chapter seven, you'll finally finish off the skill package. The seventh and eighth learning plans are there. And then finally, when you get to the final, you'll see the final speech, which is a verbal reflection on your skill package. That's the final. And then you're done with the skill package. So you can see we've embedded the skill package into the course so that you're doing a little at a time every couple of weeks until you're 
until you're done with the whole project. All right, there you go. If you have questions, just shoot me an email or call me, reach me, and we'll be glad to help you get through. I think you're going to really enjoy this, this skill package. It's a great activity.